This is the Jaeger style elk goulash video and we're gonna get started right now. Hello, I am Magnus Booner. If you like beer, food, travel, and the outdoors, and it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my epic videos. In this video, we are making Jaeger style elk goulash. A few months back, my cousin Stephanie gave me two jars of this canned elk meat. And she told me, make something out of it and make a YouTube video. And then she gave me a few stipulations and told me I couldn't do the same old kind of stuff, you know, like tacos or chili or the easy stuff. So that got me thinking, what can I make out of it? I decided a good use of it would be goulash. Now in the world of goulash, there's a few different kinds. The first time I ever had goulash, it was made by a lady from Mississippi and it tasted like spaghetti, but it was made with elbow noodles. It was really strange, but it was, it was tasty. It wasn't as good as mom's spaghetti. The second time I had goulash, I was in Germany, and it was a thick stew of meat. Then later I had goulash in Austria and Czech Republic, and it was very similar. Then I actually had real Hungarian goulash, and that's a stew made out of stewed meat, as well as onions, carrots, and potatoes, and, and I think even celery and such. This is going to be Austrian-style goulash, and it's going to be hunter-style, because we're using elk, or Jaeger-style. Let's get started. The recipe calls for half a teaspoon of ground caraway. I like to grind mine fresh. You will too. That'll probably grind up into half a teaspoon. I also need two cloves of minced garlic, but since I've already got my mortar and pistol out, I might as well just crush it in there and make my life easy. All right, we're gonna start out by sauteing some onion in one tablespoon of fat. I'm gonna use bacon fat. You could use olive oil or canola oil or ghee or butter, whatever you prefer. I'm using bacon fat. So we've got one teaspoon of bacon fat. Now we're gonna add a cup and a half of diced onions. We'll saute those in that bacon fat just until they start to turn amber. We'll go ahead and add our two cloves of garlic now with those onions. All right, now we've got those onions cooked up to a nice amber color. That'll make them taste nice and caramely. Now that we have those onions cooked up nice and caramely, we're gonna add our elk. Now the first time I made this, I measured the liquid in here and it was one cup of stock. So to that, I added one half a cup of water. Now I'm going to add half a cup of water. Next I'm going to add a teaspoon and a half of apple cider vinegar. I'm going to sprinkle in two teaspoons of paprika. Get the Hungarian paprika. Half a teaspoon of ground caraway. Fresh ground caraway. Quarter of a teaspoon of marjoram. Now we're going to stir in those ingredients. In my opinion, this is what really makes the dish. I'm going to use about a third of a cup of these dried mushrooms. These are some uh, dried mushrooms. They're a Zeller's Bolit, or I think that's a Boletus Zellerea. I harvest these out of the forest, and then I dried them. You can also use a Persini mushroom from the store dried, or you can skip the mushrooms and just use more broth. I'll get a real nice, rich earthiness from these dried mushrooms. We're going to break these up as we add them. At the end of cooking, you will just salt this to taste. 
we better add some fresh ground black pepper. Now, we're just going to let that simmer for a little bit. Well, that's been simmering away. Let's give it a stir, put some in a bowl, and taste it. Oh yeah, just look at all that meatiness. I can smell that lovely spiciness of the caraway seed. Ooh, yeah. That's hot. We better blow on it. Good job, buddy. Good job. You get a nice, rich meatiness from that elk. You get some spice and some smoke from the paprika. That black pepper. I didn't even add any salt to mine because I salted those mushrooms when I dried them and I used bacon fat. You'll want to salt yours to taste. Mmm. And you get that awesome earthiness from those mushrooms. And I love that sweet spice from the paprika. Well hey, if you haven't done it already, smack that subscribe button for me. You can find me on Instagram. I'm Magnus Booner. You can also find me on Facebook, I'm Magnus Booner. If you want to email me with episode ideas or uh, you have any questions or anything, shoot me an email right here at magnustboner at gmail.com. Thanks for watching and we're going to bring you another video real soon.